Good day, it's Dr. McLean, Vital Energy Chiropractic, and today I want to talk to you about stress, but a little bit different way than maybe you've heard about it before. And essentially, we have three different forms of stress. You have physical stress, chemical stress, and emotional stress. And today, it's getting, it's much worse than it was last year, and it's much worse than it was five years ago. Unfortunately, a lot of these things are raising every single year in our society. That doesn't mean you have to go along with that, but you have to be aware of these areas. So physical stress, let's talk about that first. You know, ideally from a physiological standpoint, we're designed to be hunters and gatherers, meaning we should be moving most of the day. Unless we're resting, eating, or sleeping, we should be out doing physical things moving. You know, we're gonna rest, of course, but we should be moving more than we're sitting. And unfortunately today between driving, a lot of people, you know, get in their car, they drive to the office, they get to the office, they sit at their computer, or now, so maybe with coronavirus, you're spending more time at home, you're sitting more time at the computer, you're moving less. And that's a physical stressor to our body. We think of physical stress as being things like injuries and things like that, and that's true. But one of the biggest things is that we're sitting too much and not moving enough. So if you want to reduce your stress, one thing is, yes, work out, exercise. But one of the biggest things is to physically move on a regular basis throughout your day. The frequency is much more important than the duration. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, number two is chemical stress. And again, today, especially here in the United States, unfortunately, um, we allow so many more chemicals and things in our food supply and to be used in our products than other countries around the world. So you really have to be cautious of what you're putting into your body. Be really cautious of medications you're putting into your body. In my opinion, you want to keep those as minimal as possible. Totally avoid them if possible because the medication is not going to make you ever. But that's a stress. It's a stressor to your body. That's a chemical stress. So I would say it's almost impossible to totally avoid all chemicals, but you can really minimize those. And also anything that goes on your skin, shaving creams, lotions, um, shampoos, conditioners, all those things get absorbed into your body. So again, you want to be real cautious of what you're using in terms of those products as well. And then the last one, a big one for us, is emotional stress. And you know, today, in a good way, we have so many opportunities of how we can invest our time and our money and our resources, but that can be a deficit too. I mean, hundreds of years ago, they didn't have a lot of options. They couldn't travel around the world or get on the internet or watch Netflix and, and watch movies and things like that. And that's a great benefit for us, but it can also be a stressor. So decide how you want to invest your time. And I would say, invest your time in things that are going to lower your stress as well. And so the great thing about chiropractic is chiropractic by no means is a cure-all, but it does help your body adapt better to those stresses. Because as I mentioned, it's probably impossible for us to totally avoid stress. And by the way, one additional thing on stress is we have also something called eustress. And so I wouldn't say your aim should be to have zero stress because if we have a eustress like, hey, I want to get in better shape, and that motivates you to start to work out, that's a good stress, right? So we wanna have things that are gonna motivate us to move into a better life. But chiropractic is gonna help you adapt better to those stresses. So I would say it's kinda of like if you have a, a winter snowstorm and if you've got a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive vehicle, that's not gonna do very well in a really slippery road system. But if you've got an all-wheel drive vehicle, it's gonna perform much better. So same snowstorm, but a bit different vehicle. And that's what chiropractic gives you. The better your nerve system, the better your spine's working, the better you're gonna be able to adapt to those stresses. We have the two front here. We wanna work on reducing those stresses and we wanna make sure our body's adapting the best that it can to those stresses, which is one of the best things that chiropractic is used for, should be utilized for. And so again, that's our goal here at Vital Energy Chiropractic is to optimize your health so you can live an abundant life. And one of those things is by adapting better to your environments.